Technologize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be another video in our LXD Home Lab server running on a Raspberry Pi 3. You don't need the latest and greatest Raspberry Pi technology to run an LXD Home Lab server. You can dust off one of those old Raspberry Pi 3s you have in your closet and begin using it for this project. Now you won't get the Raspberry Pi performance, but maybe you don't need it, or maybe you're like me and having a super hard time getting Raspberry Pi 4s right now, and they're near impossible to find one right now. So then we did a video on setting up a Pi hole in a container, and we did a video on setting up OpenVPN in a container. You don't need either of these containers for today's project, but they're good home lab containers. And these three containers basically make up the basis of what I run on my home lab server. For various projects and other things, I may add and remove containers. I've also been known to run containers like DHCP, but that's up to you. Tonight's container presentation for our LXD home lab server is going to be setting up Nextcloud. Nextcloud is one of my favorite storage solutions for my home. It allows us to move data around from any system I want. It's easy, simple, and offers very good functionality and very easy to understand and maintain. The first step we need to do is to create a new container. I'm going to create an Ubuntu 21.04 container. And to do this, I'm going to run the command sudo i lxc launch ubuntu colon 2104 and the container name, nextcloud in my case. Now, there are other images you could choose from. Press enter and your Raspberry Pi will begin setting up our container. All right, so our container should be created. Now let's use the sudo i lxc list command to view our container. So you can see our container has been created and it's running. It's at 10, 10, 2, 30. So we need to change that to a static IP address. So now let's go ahead and log into this container and establish a static IP address. sudo i lxc exec container name bash first step apt update now let's find out the name of our net plan configuration file to do that we're going to run ls etc net plan and the name of our file is 50 cloud init yaml so let's begin editing it. Nano etc net plan and the name of our YAML file. And we're adding these four lines to it. Now YAML files require very precise spacing configurations. Use a space for every indentation. Don't use tab. It won't work correctly line the first four lines up with the DHCP4, then move the final name server addresses two spaces extra so it lines up like so. Comment out the DHCP4 equals true because we want it to equal false and we want to establish a static IP address. Assign the static IP address of the container you want. Set our address to our router and our DNS address. Mine I'm going to point at my pie hole that we established in an earlier video. If you'd like to establish your own DNS filtering server and DNS caching server on a network and you have not seen my pie hole video for setting up a pie hole container in LXD on this very server, consider watching it. It should have aired a few days ago. Control X, Y, enter. Now we're going to run net plan apply to apply the new settings to our container. And an IP 
address command to verify that our container has the new IP address we configured. All right, so our container should be configured. Now it's time to actually start installing Nextcloud. We're gonna use snap to install Nextcloud. So the command we're going to be using is snap install Nextcloud. Snap should be already installed on this container as this is an Ubuntu container. All right, the next command we need to run is nextcloud.manual dash install. And now we need to add a username. We're gonna use VE and space and the password for that user. I'm using video. So this will establish the default user, the admin user credentials for our Nextcloud instance when we begin working with its web interface. Okay, so now that's configured. The next command we're going to run is actually going to configure the trusted domain name for our Nextcloud container instance. Nextcloud dot OCC space config colon system colon set space trusted domain one dash dash value equals and I'm entering the IP address that I established for this container 10.10.2.203. Maybe you want to configure your pie hole so that it will distribute the actual IP address and give you a name that you can enter for this location. All right, so our system should be configured. So we should be able to now just take a web browser and go to the IP address we configured and Nextcloud should start. Enter the username that we set for the admin user and the password. There you have it. There's a Nextcloud instance running on a container on an LXD server hosted on a Raspberry Pi. If you liked tonight's video presentation, found it informative, useful, or would just like to support Virtualize Everything, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, have a good night.